Well, hi. I am a newbie at writing. I haven't actually got my license yet, but I have booked it in for the very beginning of January 2021. But before I go out and actually get my license, I wanted to get a couple of things and slowly build up my inventory. So the first thing I got was HJC Arfa 70. I love how narrow this looks, especially because I have a small head and I didn't want to look like this massive bobble head on a bike. Also, the drop down visor is awesome. I love it. It's actually really smooth it doesn't click like the older ones it's super smooth to slide up and down especially since I'll have to wear my glasses while riding until I get some contacts sorted anyway but I don't have prescription sunglasses so this is absolutely perfect now I haven't ridden with this yet but I love how there's multiple vents up the top and at the back even a little one in the front I can't wait to see if the airflow is noticeable or if it makes super loud helmet noise I will keep you guys updated so for $550 it's it's a little more on the pricey side it's not quite entry level but I really want to take care of my head if that makes sense like that's the most important part I would say and I am super excited to try it while riding okay so for gloves I went with the Alpine Stars copper short gloves I tried on so many gloves but I have weirdly disproportionate hands so it was hard to find something that fit <laughs> all the way down to the webs of my hands that sounds really weird but I went with these because I'm still a beginner and I'm so <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm sort of nervous about not being able to feel the clutch lever or anything else while I ride. So I wanted to, something that feels on the thinner side but is still protective. The index fingers have touchscreen compatibility, but I will definitely not be having my phone anywhere near where I can see it while I'm writing. So I guess really the only time I'd ever utilize this feature is if I'm too lazy to take my gloves off once I've stopped. <laughs> or if it's super cold, which I mean, I guess will come in handy in winter, but it's still a pretty cool feature. I just love the way they feel. And they have spandex material <laughs> between the fingers, sorry. <laughs> Whenever I hear the word spandex, a picture of 80s women working out in like leotards just pops into my head. <laughs> so I have spandex in between my fingers in case I want to work out. Just saying. They're super airy and light and they're just overall comfy. Coming in at $69, it's a pretty good buy. I sounded really Aussie then. Buy! Buy! Yeah, mate! And lastly, I got the Stella Faster V3 shoes. These ones cost me $199, but I think they're not too pricey for protective shoes. Also, you're paying for the brand as well, I think. So for what they are, they're pretty good. Now, I learned a lot about myself while gear shopping. My whole entire adult life, I thought I was a size eight in shoes. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm a size six. Six! Am I a friggin' hobbit? Like, just give me your precious rings to hold on to. I'm your man. But for real, I know some brands differ between sizes, but I was not expecting to try on a size six and it fit like a glove. So my advice for any newbies like myself is try on all of your gear before you buy. You'll be surprised at what fits. When looking at shoes, or sorry, boots, <laughs> I'm still learning. Um, I didn't want to buy super high ones because one, I'm not going to be riding in the spring or summer weather anyway. Um, and I don't know what point two was, but yes. Yeah, so I went with the shorter shoe. <laughs> These ones like most riding boots, boots, shoes, boots, foot apparatuses have the Velcro strip to hide your shoelaces in there. So that's pretty cool. So at least they're not like flapping out in the wind, being all free and getting caught in your pegs or something. For real, my ankles have never felt more supported in my entire life. I could do the most intense dance you've ever seen and still not roll my ankles. I love them so much. I'm still scouting out pants and a jacket. So yeah, um, feel free to 
follow along with me. I will share my journey, all my mistakes <laughs> and learning curves and everything. It's been something that I've wanted to do for many years now, like over five years. And realistically, I mean, I'm not a spring chicken, okay? I'm over 30 now. Life's too short and I want to ride. Because I still work a full-time job, my main goal is to practice twice a week, at the very least twice a week. I'm still a little bit nervous to share any GoPro footage with you guys, but that will come in time. I definitely do want to do some moto vlogs and stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be uploading, not regularly, but I will try my best. I'll take you guys along on my learning journey of riding a motorbike and going through a lot of my firsts on a motorbike. And hopefully it's entertaining. I don't know. I'm still, it's sort of like patting your head and rubbing your tummy at the same time, like riding and talking at the same time. I still haven't got a hang of yet, but I'll get there in time. And I can't wait to make more videos for you guys. And that is it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.